Hey everyone, it's wonderful to see you today. It really is. I love doing this. This is like the best part of my week. Um, Father, we praise you, we adore you because you are God and you are great and we just, we just fall before you, Lord God, and, and bless your name. Uh, Father, we just thank you for being God and always being there. And I thank you just for um, endowing me with your power, with your love, and with your grace. I need behind the cross as I speak to, today. Not, let not a word fall on deaf ears. Amen. Hi guys, this sermon came out of a bit of a um, personal situation which I went, which I got into uh, yesterday and when I was, after the situation happened, I was thinking of my part in it because um, sometimes you step into things and you're not and you're not aware that you step into them or you offend somebody without really meaning to or intending to and it just happens and um uh the lord was speaking to me after the situation happened and he said and he said um you got one of the person's triggers. That situation had to do with, partly to do with you, but partly to do with one of their triggers. And I said, okay, um, how do I stop that? How do I prevent that from happening again? He said, well, you can't because you're human and you will always step into some of these triggers whether you whether you mean to or not you just have to apologize which you did and you just have to um you just have to say that you're sorry and mean it genuinely and he said he said this is the one part of my sermon that i want to get to today he said you have to give yourself permission to be human. And that's what the sermon is called. The sermon today is called Permission to be Human. Uh, a lot of people are, are just so hard on themselves. And so... Um, you get two kinds of people. You get the people like me that when they make a mistake, they're, they're hard on themselves to death. They beat themselves to death. They, you know, question themselves to death. Like, what do I do? How do I, what do I do differently? How do I make, how, uh, how can I make myself better from the experience or whatever? And they do it to death. They lose sleep over whatever. They're like, oh, I hurt, hurt whatever person and whatever. And then you get the other person who really doesn't care. They're like, okay, it's their problem. Um, um, I'm human, whatever. But um, I think there are, you have, almost have to give yourself permission to be human um but but realize that being human doesn't give you a license to be mean so for me i have to give myself permission to be human which means um giving myself permission giving myself saying to myself that okay I will not say the right thing all the time. I will step into it. Um, 
sometimes, you know, sometimes I will get a person's triggers without really realizing it. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's okay. And I think sometimes we're harsh on each other because we don't give people permission to be human. We don't give people permission to make one mistake or, you know, uh, you know, to have, to have one slip up and then if they do, we X them off forever or we, that friendship is done. And, um, I'm just learning now to not judge a person judge a person on 90% of their activities, not 10% of their activities. Like, if they're most of the time, okay, most of the time you're respectful, most of the time you're kind, most of the time they're okay. And that little 1% or 10% of the time, they could be having a bad day, they could just be angry about something and and they just um they just say something wrong or interpret something wrong that's okay but i think uh, in in a world today like we just judge people so quickly and we just cancel people so quickly and um, another thing that the Lord said to me is sometimes we put people on pedestals and the moment they screw up or say something, that's it. But people are human, people are fallible, and no matter who the person is, if they're not habitually like that, um, we we just need to give them permission to be human and i think a lot of time uh we just don't give people leeway to be human like usually um well take when somebody accepts christ we expect them to be like okay you're a christian let's fix up right away but that's not how it works. It takes time. It's a process. And we are all going through a process. We are all going through a process. And we just have to give each other permission to go through the process. Like the Lord gives us permission to go through the process. And I think we... Uh, in this cult, uh, can, uh, cancel culture, we X off or we get rid of people too easily where when they're being worked on or they're being, you know, um, all of, they're being all of that. They're being worked on, they're being shaped, they're being, you know, um, they're being, uh, just perfected by God and they're, like, and I think, um, being perfected by God takes all of our lives and knowing how to deal with people and knowing where to step and knowing, knowing what to do is just so hard sometimes. And I think, uh, like with me, the Lord said, give yourself permission to be human. You, you did all what you, um, you said what you had to say and you apologized. So give yourself permission to be human. And, and that's what the Lord had to say to me. And I think a lot of times we judge people or cancel people too quickly.
because we don't allow them to be not perfect or like we don't allow them to be um we don't allow them to have off days you like the problem is you don't know what's going on in that person's life and you 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 don't know the hell they've gone through that week they they say they're fine but maybe they're not close enough to you to share that they're actually not fine um and i think we just need to give each other more grace than we do now saying that that is not an excuse for habitual rudeness if someone's habitually rude that person needs to be um dealt with and sometimes when they're habitually rude usually there's an issue there that they need to work out there's um there's something there that they need to work out because uh there's something in them that is needs something that you can't give them but and sometimes when a person when a person is hurt by something and you don't know where to step sometimes uh there's a place of healing that needs to take place and um and sometimes it's an area of healing because when somebody when when you step on somebody's trigger um it it means that there's a place of um hurt or there's a place of um inadequacy but there's a place of something that needs healing and what you said just triggered that and maybe you did didn't mean it the way it, it came out well, uh, how they interpreted it is is the is what matters I think sometimes um, relationships don't break down for a lack of communication. They they break down because of different interpretations. Because I can say, oh, what? Oh, I like your hair. And one person can say, oh, thank you. And another person can say, what you don't think my hair looks good any of the other times see it's their interpretation of what you said that breaks everything down and relationships um sometimes uh with people uh they require healing healing that only god can give healing that restoration can give and uh sometimes you just need to know that you did your best you you did your best and there's nothing you can do and beating yourself up is not going to change the situation you just have to realize that you're human and you're you're fallible when you and you will make mistakes, you will make people upset. But the thing is, do you apologize? Are you sincere with your apology? If you are, then that's all that that, that can be asked of you. And, you know, a lot of people just beat themselves up like endlessly with guilt and with shame and with all of that 
And the Lord says today for all of that, give yourselves permission to be human. And he says, he says today, give yourselves permission to be human. Give yourselves permission to make mistakes. Now, it's not a license to be habitually rude and say, oh, I'm human. Um, no, it's, this message is for the people that are awesome 90% of the time, but 10% of the time they have slip ups and then when they have slip ups, they beat themselves up to a pop. Um, and the Lord says, you know what, give yourselves permission to be human. I do. That's why I've forgiven you 70 times 7, because I know that you will inevitably every day screw up in some kind of way. Some, sometimes we've, we've screwed up so much. But the Lord says today, I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So he comes to give you new life. He comes to embrace you as human as you are. And he comes to uh, say that he loves you in spite of your mistakes, in spite of your shame. Uh, he said, there are people under the sound of my voice now that have been living in shame for years and have not forgiven themselves, have not uh, given themselves permission to be human. And the Lord says right now, you have permission to be human and those chains are broken off of you. The chains of doubt, the chains of fear, the chains of, the chains of self-recrimination, the chains of guilt, all those chains are being broken off of you right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. I declare that from this day forward, you will be, you will embrace the fact that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. But in that fearful wonder, wonderfulness, you are also flawed. You are also, um, you are also flawed. You are also, um, you are also, like, you say things that you're not supposed to, you do things that you're supposed to, not supposed to you hurt people unintentionally and you just uh, blow things out of proportion that doesn't that don't need to be blown out of proportion. You do all these things in spite of your humanness. In spite of your, in spite of the fact that you're his, you're also human. And you need to give yourself permission to be human. And if you're afraid, if you said something to someone or did something to someone and you're afraid to apologize because you're afraid of how that person will react, just do it anyway. Life's too short to just remain angry. And and there are so many people who are struggling in relationships because they refuse to admit that they're wrong or they're letting pride stand in their way. And the Lord says, if you need to talk to that person, if you need to go to coffee with that person, if you need to um, say you were wrong like I had to, in my situation, he'd be like, do it because life is too short. There are people out there that have been mad at their brother and sister and stuff for years, holding grudges. 
And the Lord says it's time to deal with those grudges and to let them go. It's time to have it out and deal with it and let it go so you can be free. Because the only thing those grudges are are, are doing is letting you just um, fester. And it's poisoning everyone around you. And, you know, unhealed hurt uh, can poison everyone around you. Because if a hurt is unhealed, somebody has to say something innocent without meaning what you thought they were meaning and then you and then you blow up or are or, or upset and the person didn't really mean it that way or the person didn't really know that they were walking into a landmark line. It's just like uh, somebody who was in a relationship and they were so hurt by this person and then they move on to another relationship with a, with a great other person and then that person says something that the other person said and then that person that person is hurt by it because it's an unhealed wound and the Lord is saying, I, I am come to heal those wounds today. He's like, I've come to heal emotional wounds today. I've come to heal wounds of sexual abuse today. I've come to heal wounds of guilt today. I've come to heal wounds of fear today. And so, but he says the first step to healing it is me you've got to reach out to me and say lord i need you to heal this pain i need you to heal this hurt i need you to heal this something in me because the reason why what that person said hurt you and, and they didn't realize it or they didn't know it is because maybe you have some unhealed issues that you need to work out and only God can heal. He's coming with his healing wings today to wrap around you and just tell you that you deserve love. Let me say that again. You deserve love. You are deserving of 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 love. I'll say it again. You are deserving of love. And you're wondering why, why has everybody left me? Why do I say things to make people upset or to leave me? Why do why doesn't anyone get my heart? Get your heart, because sometimes they're not called to. Um, sometimes we put too much pressure on people to get us who are not called to get us. Though those who see us in all our glory, in all his glory, can handle it. But sometimes the people we want to see us, we want to valid, validate who we are, are not called to do that. So sometimes with your co-workers, they're not called to see you in that light. They're not called to, to be that in your life. And you need to understand who is called to see you in that light. So, um, it's like Jesus. Uh, Jesus had uh, a multitude that was 
basically everybody. Jesus had 12 disciples which he taught, which were closer to him, but Jesus had three good friends. Um, Jesus had three good friends, which he was really confident about. And sometimes we want people to see us who are um, a part of the multitude or a part of the twelve. But they're not called to be that close to you. And don't worry, your crew is coming. And something that the Lord also said to me was, better is coming. Better is coming. You won't be like this for your whole life. You won't be lonely. You won't be un you won't be lonely. You won't be single. You won't be in an unhealthy relationship all your life. He said, better is coming. Just hold on. I know it's rough terrain right now, but better is coming and better is on its way. And then while you're waiting for better, however, he's like, look for the lessons in, in the, the storm and those rocking moments. Look for those lessons and you'll find them. And the lessons are not, I'm not going to trust anybody ever again. He wants to give you detailed lessons about how to trust, how to walk with people, how to suss out people's triggers so you don't step on those landmines and, you know, hurt people. And he wants me to tell you that he knows that you didn't mean to hurt that person. He knows your heart. He knows your spirit. He knows you didn't mean to hurt that person. But you did. So now that you did, people of God, just give yourself permission to be human. Um, I think um, social media and Instagram are very good things. I think they're tools or whatever and whatever. But I also think that they could be awful things because they don't give us an opportunity to celebrate our humanness, our faux pas, our like areas that, you know, need a little bit of work. They, people often post the polished side of them, the side of them that's happy, the side of them that's going well. But in everybody's life, there are sides that are going well and sides that are not. And he says, we need to, and God says, we need to embrace the side that that is um, not okay because he wants to work it out. He doesn't want to keep you in things that are not okay or things that are not like him. He wants to heal you and healing is possible. Healing is possible if you, if you um, just grab on to him. He will give you his love and his resources and he will send the proper people. And that person is not your crew. And you've got to understand who is your crew from versus who are just um, acquaintances. Um, because sometimes we think people 
are our crew, but they're just acquaintances. And sometimes we put people in the wrong places. And that's where we can fall into trouble. Because if we let people in who are not our crew, but just acquaintances, they might unknowingly uh, do something because they're not meant to to fill that space in your life and that is an issue but the Lord is coming with his healing wings today thank you Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Give yourself this week permission to be human. Permission to be fall to be fallible. And then when you are fallible, when you do make a mistake, apologize. Don't be prideful and say, I didn't do that. Be man or woman enough to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, or I didn't mean to do that. Or if you can, if it is a big serious thing and you can make up with the person, do that. If the person is passed and you can't make up with this person, a trick that I've learned is to either write a letter to about what you would say to the person or record it. Or another trick is write if you, if you can't forgive yourself for something. A lot of people are are dealing with self-unforgiveness but write to yourself about talk to yourself about whatever issue you can't um forgive yourself for and then once you do that it gets it out see the the lord said you need to get it out of your body he said, whatever hurt you're dealing with, you need to get it out of your body, whether it's to record it, whether it's to write it down, whether it's to talk about it with a friend, whether it's just to pray about it, you need to get all the hurt and all the junk and all the unforgiveness out of your body. Because all that stress on your body is making you sick. And you wonder why you're sick and why the doctors can't find out why you're sick. You wonder why, you're, why your blood pressure is getting high and your sugar diabetes is getting high and you seem to be eating all the right things. You need to get everything that you're feeling out of your body, whatever it is, whether it is going to therapy whether it is talking to a friend, whether it is um, praying, whether it is talking to a pastor, you need to get all that unhealthy energy, uh, all that unhealthy stuff out of your body because it's killing your relationships, it's killing your emotions, and the Lord wants freedom for you today. The Lord wants life for you today. The Lord is giving you permission to be human today. Thank you guys so much for your support. See you next week. Take care.